Hey and welcome back and in this lesson we are going to look at quantizing and how we can fix these notes that we recorded in the previous lesson. So if I play this back you can hear these notes are not in time and you can actually see that they're not even the same length they're all over the place they're quite random so we're going to try and fix that and uh, let's see how we can do that. So if you look at the bottom section of your screen you've got this block here that says quantize right at the bottom and then it's got the note resolution which is 16 currently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these notes from our melody, make sure they're all selected and then I'm going to set this to 16 because I want those notes to be quantized at that resolution and uh, simply what you do is you just click on quantize. Now watch these notes when I click here. they kind of jump into place. Now if I play this, we should have something that snaps better to those um, grid spaces. So it's a lot better, but they're not perfect. So sometimes it will try and obviously guess which way to move a note if it's on a edge or close to an edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my uh, grid resolution here at the top to 16 as well. So it's matching that of our quantize and I'm going to zoom in and then I'm just going to kind of go through here and see what we can do to make this a little bit better. So this note I think is out of place. So I'm just going to play this. So you can see this one sounds a little bit delayed. So I'm going to move this one over to there. Let's have a listen. And there's another one that's out of place. Just gonna make this one a little bit longer. Uh, okay, there's an issue here. Let's see if that works. See if I can figure this one out. There we go. You just want to try and get that rhythm right so you can kind of see um, there's a space in between, then there's one, there's, and then there's another space, then there's a note. And you can try and kind of figure out the pattern. But if you're playing is a little bit better than mine you should be able to quantize a little bit better to those resolutions but let's just go through here and see if there's anything else we can fix Okay, that's sounding pretty cool. But as you can see, our note lengths are all over the place. They're not the same. Some of the, these notes are really sh uh, short. Some of them are really long. And I want to make them all exactly the same um, length as one of these sections. So it's a 16th note section. So first, what we need to do is we need to select all these notes. So I'm just going to drag a big box around all of them like that. You can see they're all selected. And then I'm going to zoom in here like so and then you can take any of these notes and we're going to resize it to the desired length that we want so let's take this first one so i'm going to use these handles and just drag it so it kind of snaps to this position right there and uh, i'm going to re release that and then you can see the notes are still not exactly the same but yeah right at the top where it says length you'll see a little equal sign you see there match values and I'm simply going to click on that equal sign and it's going to match all these notes to the exact same length. Look at that. All neat and tidy. So let's have a listen.
Okay, there's a little bit of a problem here. I don't know if you can hear it. And you can actually see something looks a little out of place here. So I'm just going to zoom in here and, and let's fix this manually. Sometimes this will happen where you kind of just have to go through. You can see we've got these nice spaces between them. And then we've got two spaces and then one, one, one. And then this one, this note's out of place. I can see that that is not right because that's the the new beat will start here. So this one should be one shifted one that way, like that. So if we play this section now, much better. Okay, so that's how simple it is to quantize your notes and also to make them the same length. What you can also do is you can enable Q record and uh, that will basically quantize the notes as you record them. You see it says quantize notes during recording. Now you may ask why don't you just always use that. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit confusing if it's quantizing on the fly. Some people prefer it. You can try it out but I usually prefer to record my notes without auto quantizing switched on and then I usually look at them and then I will quantize them and then I will match the note sizes. So yeah, see if you can match your notes to mine. I'm just going to zoom in here again, pressing Z on the keyboard. And uh, yeah, see if you can copy that. Obviously, you don't have to be exactly the same. If you want to go a different route, that's also cool. Um, but yeah, get your melody in there. And uh, I'm going to go out of edit mode. And you can see that's our riff right there. And I'm going to rename this, uh, this channel as well or this uh, track. I'm just going to double click there. And I'm going to call this riff. You can call it anything you like. And uh, then make sure you save your project. So I'm going to go to file, save. And I'll see you in the next lesson.